Hi everyone, welcome to Rose Talk Show. Today, we'll discuss about one of the most serious topics that may have been in our planet, which is energy consumption. So, to welcome to our show, we have three guests today. The first one is the professional about fossil fuel. The second is professional about renewable energy. The third one is the opinion, the resident in my local neighborhood. Hi. Before we get into anything specific, uh, I think first we should uh, let the guest introduction so me and the audience can have a better understanding about their work. Hi everyone, I am Jamie. I'm a professional of fossil fuels, which have been working in this file for more than 25 years. Hi everyone, this is a great pleasure for me to be in the show today. Um, I am a renewable energy professional and I have contributed half of my life to be working on this project. I want to make our planet to be better and better every day. So hi everyone, I'm a resident in Ho Chi Minh City and today I'm come here to share my opinion about the energy consumption as a representable for my consumer neighborhood. So let's begin with Mr. Jamie, and then Ms. Tue, and uh, last is our representative, the residents. So to understand the idea of fossil fuels, we need to know what they are. So fossil fuels are hydrocarbons that are formed from dead animals and plants. There are three main types of fossil fuels. So we have coal, natural gases, petroleum, it's a dominant wood energy use and accounting for more than 80% of global energy supply. Majority supported for electricity and transportation fuel. Wait, wait, let me stop you right there. Um, I think you forgot something to mention about fossil fuel to the audience, right? That fossil fuel is not the renewable energy. And if you use fossil fuel a lot, it's going to be depleted in the future, which is no more fossil fuel. What? You mean the future that's like a thousand or million years later? Until that time, we already have a reform of animals and plants, so therefore we still have to use fossil fuels. If talk like you, how's come there is more and more disasters come through all the world, like animal dying, the is coming, forests are burning because of the climate change. Can you see Australia? And all of that because of forests of fuel producing enormous amount of CO2 and greenhouse gases. What? Oh my god, are we doing that to the world? Uh, okay guys, let's calm down. Uh, to let the show continue, I think we should let Ms. Tre, the professional in renewable energy, introduce what her work first, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, I just frustrated with something that destroyed our planet. So, hi guys. I am a renewable energy professional. Let's come here to help you all. Haha. <laughs> First, I will explain what is renewable energy meaning. So, it's constantly what is happening, what is the word saying. Like, the renewable engineering is the energy which you can reuse it and it didn't have any harmful to the future so that's it oh do you mean the energy that's made from the air turbine or the sun ray right oh yeah of course this is exactly what is it oh yeah right like everyone can afford it hey what do you mean like everything come with a cost right if we're going to save our planet, the money is not that much as a problem, right? How about you anyway? We're using too much 
also feel that climate change and all the disasters come very fast and usually every single day, right? But did everybody use fossil fuels to live? Let me ask the resident. So Kai, what do you usually use? Fossil fuels or renewable energy? So recently my home used fossil fuel as the main source because it's like cheaper and it's easy to afford. But if I have more money, I would change to use the renewable energy because it helps save the, save the environment and fossil fuel cause a lot of damage, damage to the environment and cause the bad weather and the bad temperature. Okay, okay. Stop right there. I just want to know that what do you usually use? So there, what you have to say... Oh my god, I don't understand. There are like thousands of news about a disaster. But how comes? Like everything is it's come from fossil fuel, isn't it? Okay, okay, wait. So I know you guys are furious about this topic. But first, let's see a video that we have interviewed a few local residents and let's see what their opinion first so uh, hi guys so i'm going to interview some of the people about how they're using energy at home and what do you know about fossil fuel and renewable energy let's go chú nghĩ sao về năng lượng hóa thạch và tác dụng của nó lên môi trường hiện tại nay trên thế giới hơn 80% nguồn nhiên liệu sử dụng là từ các nhiên liệu hóa thạch ví dụ như dầu khí, dầu, than đá việc sử dụng các nguồn năng lượng hóa thạch này thải ra rất nhiều các khí độc hại ví dụ như khí CO2 làm gia tăng biến đổi khí hậu tác hại đến môi trường rất là lớn năng lượng ấy. nhạy cảm lắm mà người cái bài hàng xóm sống tôi á nó, nó nghĩ là năng lượng á là một vấn đề mà thật ra là mỗi con người chúng ta cũng phải quan tâm đến ừ. bởi vì nếu mà dùng quá năng lượng thì nó sẽ dẫn đến quá tải Ok, thank you. Vậy cho hỏi là ở nhà anh dùng năng lượng hóa thạch hay là năng lượng tái tạo như là năng lượng mặt trời hoặc là nước? Nhà tôi là tôi dùng điện nguyên ngày luôn. Còn trừ vấn đề đi lại á, thì tôi dùng năng lượng hóa thạch như là dầu, xăng và khí đốt. Anh nghĩ những gì anh làm có liên quan tới khí hậu xấu mấy ngày nay đang diễn ra Tôi có để ý rằng mấy ngày nay trời khá là mù, buổi sáng ra đường thì là khá là lạnh à... nói chung là thế giới đang biến 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 đổi à... và đang có sự nóng lên toàn cầu năng <cười> lượng tái tạo sẽ đóng một vai trò rất quan trọng trong việc giảm các tác động của biến đổi khí hậu trong tương lai bảo vệ trái đất khỏi các tác hại rất có hại của uh, môi trường do cái sự biến đổi khí hậu mang lại các nguồn năng lượng tái tạo ví dụ như năng lượng mặt trời thủy điện nhỏ năng lượng gió là các nguồn năng lượng sạch giúp sẽ giúp cho chúng ta phát triển và đảm bảo được cái cuộc sống môi trường khí hậu của trái đất chúng ta được rồi cảm ơn chú rất nhiều so I agree with you guys that renewable energy is very hard to use in Vietnam because we don't have enough money and technology to work on it so can you tell me how do you usually consume fossil fuel and uh, throughout the day uh, what did you usually use it for like how would you prefer to consume it so for me my family my family is a big one so I have to use a lot of electricity and gas gasoline for transportation around hmm do you think that there is a way to like utilize renewable en energy to our home and like daily life 
So I think it is possible, but as my previous thought about a renewable energy purchase is something that can help to push the way to use renewable energy and the technology of using renewable energy demands a lot of money and professionals to make it practical for everyone to convert to renewable energy. Okay, so Mr. Jamie, can you tell us how you think about the renewable energy? Okay, you're right. I'm gonna admit that renewable energy is very helpful for the environment, even though I'm a pro fossil fuels, but now I have hope on our future to make a change and be able to switch to sustainable resources and be able to support the environment and fix it through other work. So that's the end of our show. Thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next chat.